Are you going to answer that question? <laughs> Oh yes, guys, welcome to Elinor's Balo Impact Full Body Workouts. We have one of the fitness instructors here with us today, Jill. She's teaching boot camp and senior fit, right? Yes. I'm so glad you made it to our Pilates class because I remember you promised to join us for really long. I know, I know. I know. I so here. <laughs> yeah, well, she's here for Pilates today with us. Remember to prepare your props, guys. Listen to your body at all times and adjust the class to your needs and to your physical capabilities. Okay, read the disclaimer in the description box if you'd like to join us for today's class. Okay, and here we have Donna. Cool, so let's begin. Let's begin. Okay, let's start seating since you are all seated. So, yeah, just in a comfortable position. Remember to roll your shoulders down and then from your ears. Good, so inhale forward, exhale back, good. Okay, Jill, you did the Pilates with reformer, right? You can use yoga blocks on the your knees <laughs> if you need to, okay? Oh, I'm so tired. You're tired. Oh, you're going to benefit from this oh, class. <laughs> so bad. This is why you need to come I back. know. up nice and tall, roll your shoulders to the back, look where it's comfortable, okay? Good, keep breathing, and slowly come back to center, inhale, up and with exhale, to the left side now, keep our shoulders down, remember in Pilates we have a few principles that we need to follow, slowly come back to center, inhale up, so one of them is breathing, Okay, we are trying to complicate the breath with the movements. So um, we usually use the thoracic breathing, which I'll explain a little bit later once we get to that part of the class. But uh, whatever you do, just keep breathing, okay? Normally don't hold your breath, okay? Then slowly inhale up, with exhale to the other side. Then the other important principle of Pilates is that you are doing everything with precision, quality over quantity, okay? If you feel like you are coming out, come back to center. Coming out of neutral spine, you know, uh, you just reduce the range of motion, make it smaller, more controlled. Uh, we're trying to preserve the uh, proper posture and alignment. We are doing the movements with the proper posture and alignment, okay? Good, so let's switch the mind of the legs. We will move to the other side. So take a deep breath in, hands up to the sky, and with exhale. Twist to your right knee. Good. Slowly come back to center. Inhale up. And with exhale, twist to the left. Good. Come back to center. Inhale up. With exhale, reach to your right. Try to press with the left hip down into the floor so you're not lifting it. You feel a deeper stretch. And with exhale, crunch forward. And inhale up again. Forward. Reaching forward. And one more time. Nice one, guys. Come back to center. Inhale to prepare with exhale to the other side. Give it the same. Shoulder circles if you want to keep pressing with the right hip down into the floor. Don't fix it. Good. And with exhale, reach forward and up. A few times. With exhale, forward. Inhale up. Exhale. Nice. Okay. Come back to center. Release. Okay, let's get into our uh, shoulders a little bit using this uh, yellow band or whichever band you have in front of you. Uh, you can open your legs wide, a comfortable straddle, or you can place your blocks under your knees if you need to hunt up yourself. Okay. Good. Yeah. So, bring your arms in front. Hands are in fist. Make sure that the elbows are in line with the shoulders. So what you can do is you can sit like this to watch your posture so you're not Sinking back, you can sit on the yoga block like Loretta is doing here. And we're going to open, open the elbows with the wrists. Try to keep them in one line, in one line. So the wrists are not going wider than your elbows. And the elbows are not going wider than your wrists. Good, let's do a few more. Like this, keep breathing. With exhale out, inhale in. And then we're going to make it smaller but more control. One, little pulse, two, three, four, little up to release for a few counts. It's up to you, okay? You can do four counts. Try not to lower the elbows beyond the shoulders. 
shoulders. So watch that they are staying in one line. Keeping the shoulders down away from your ears. Uh, watch your elbows are not going lower than your shoulders. Yes, yes, yes. It's going to be a little harder. And try to keep your shoulders down away from your ears. So the elbows are up. Take a breath and with exhale, up and over. 
Inhale to prepare. Sit up nice and tall. Let's try a few more times again. Board to prepare. Board to prepare. Coming down. Inhale to prepare. And see if you can do either with one leg or the other leg, or maybe both legs straight, or micro bend the knees. Board to prepare. Board to prepare. Slowly, slowly. Inhale to prepare and exhale up and over. Nice one, guys. And one more. Board to prepare. Board to prepare. Good. Inhale to prepare. It's one of my favorite. Warm, warmed up. For the bonus, and if you want to challenge yourself, you keep your hands close to your head, but you can bring them in front of your chest. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, this one will help you. So let's try another one. Another one would be this. So you have a seat, nice and tall. Roll your shoulders to the back. So place the yoga block again in between your inner thighs. Take a breath, and with the exhale, you can take up even a ball here for this one. So you come down. Only go to the extent that you can control, okay? So you inhale, open to one side without lifting your heels, without moving here, anything stays, everything in one line. Put down back to center and inhale. And slowly but exhale, coming down. Inhale, open to the other side. Good. Keep the heels down the floor. So watch that your pelvis stays neutral, right? You're not shifting. Your heels are staying in one line because the moment you shift, you see like I'm moving the one heel forward, the other one, all the alignment. Good. Inhale up and with exhale. Let's do one more. Inhale over. Nice for guys. Come back to center and with exhale. Release. Up and open. Good job. Okay, another one we can do. Sit here. Open your legs wide. This one will stretch your back and will stretch your hamstrings and inner thighs a little bit. So bring your hands one on top of another. Good. Roll your shoulders to the back. Keep your shoulders down. Away from your ears. Check your alignment. Take a breath. Good. Exhale. Twist to your right. Good. Come back to center. So try to slide with the hands. Bring them one on top of another. Uh -huh. And with exhale. To the other side. Turn your shoulders down. You're just twisting your core. Down back to center and exhale. Try to press with the hips. If you put closer, you're not lifting the opposite hip. Right? There is a temptation to lift it up. So try to press down. You are working with your abdominals. Good. Okay, now we're going to walk again a little bit. Open your arms out so you can watch them with the feet position. Take a breath and with exhale. Twist to your right. Good. Keep your shoulders down. <laughs> Take a breath, put this down to the other side, nice. Come back to center, good. And open again, take a breath and release, so you're going to reach towards this leg, two, a few pulses, three, and four. Come back to center, inhale to prepare, put this to the other side, take a breath, and put this down, reaching. Good, you don't have to touch the tools, okay? Try to go with a straight spine, it's an active stretch. Come back to center, take a breath, and with this tail, twist. And again, one, two, flex your feet. Good, slowly come back to center, inhale to prepare, and with this tail, last one. Let's go, one, two, three, four. Slowly come back to center, and release. Okay, if you want to go into a uh, straddle stretch, see if you can, just check it, okay? Don't over stretch yourself, we will do another one at the end of the class to see where you get, okay? So try to go with a straight spine, touch the floor with your chest and with your abdominals. Okay, well, let me try. <laughs> <laughs> so far away. <laughs> That's okay, we're just, we're just checking it here, okay? So. <laughs> Having flashbacks. It's a stretch. <laughs> gymnastics as a kid, I could never do this. And every other kid in this world, like, flat. <laughs> but you're so strong. Like, look, you have so much muscles. But it doesn't. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. That's I know. Help with that it doesn't. <laughs> yeah. I know, I know. So let's get into our. Um, um, okay, I'll explain neutral spine here. So you probably know, Jill, because you, you, you are smart, right? And you've been teaching. For a while, so yeah. Uh, <laughs> sure. <laughs> sure. <just go. laughs> so relate, relate your shoulders, right? 
right? So uh, the shoulder blades are separated from each other. And we are going to inhale, release the abdominals, arch your back, gaze up. So we'll basically do get and pound here. Good, and then with exhale, start uh, pulling the belly button in towards the spine. Come back to neutral first, and then get into posterior tilt. So you tuck your pelvis, release your head, release your neck, okay? Slowly, come your back through neutral again, inhale. Get into a cow, and then with exhale. Good. Nice, go guys. Okay, so here you can lift one leg, other leg, come into a plank, okay? So watch that your head, neck, and spine are in one line. Abdominals are engaged, so you're working here on the transversus abdominus, the deepest layers of the abdominal muscles, okay? If you need to modify the grip to lower your knees down on the floor, down on your forearms also. I'm using yoga blocks for modification to protect the wrists, but you can remove them at any moment. So, with exhale, bring the right knee towards the right elbow slowly. Bring it back, take a breath. With exhale, left knee, try not to move the torso here. Stay stable. You're just moving the legs. Good. And other side. Nice work, guys. So take a breath and put exhale, come into your down with the Take a few steps here with the down with the walk. Good. Release your head, release your neck. Push yourself away from the floor, from the yoga block. Sitting your hips, fire up, micro bend the knees. Uh -huh. Good. And with exhale, gaze forward. We are going to jump and walk in between your hands. Good. Roll side to side, side to side. Nice. Good. And then what you do by your grip? Lift yourself up into a standing position. Good job. Okay, release your wrists, guys. Get some water if you need to. And take your weights, okay? We will do some upper body. Next. Cool. And if you want to try to balance yourself on the yoga block, so that we simultaneously you can walk on the legs. Um, with a strap if you want to, only, only if you want to, okay? So, we're going to wrap around the thighs. We will do everything today, okay? So, take your heavier weights. We will start with the biceps. Good. So, standing on the yoga blocks is optional, okay? Feel free to go down at any moment. As you feel, you need to go down and take a small break. You can do that, okay? So, we're going to come on the tippy toes and bring your hands to 90 degrees, try not to roll out the ankles, good, abdominals are engaged, nice one, with control, with control, you can turn, yeah, you can turn, yeah, you can wash yourself, I'm only uh, uh, pressing to the side, I can actually come towards you guys, so I can wash you better, good, and feel free to lower yourself down, so if you want to add little pulses here, climbing on your tippy toes, and down while you are pulsing with your arms. Try not to bring them too far to the shoulders, okay? You're just pulsing at 90. Uh, pulse at 90. Good. Don't allow the ankles. Try to keep the weight towards the big toe. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. The big toe. The weight towards the big toe. Oh, yeah. So I, I can't. I have surgery okay. on my feet. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. That's, that's okay. That's okay. Just check it. Uh -huh. Good. So, let's try. I know. 
know you want to base yourself. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, this one is really good when you turn to the sides and you can watch your portion. Yeah, you're not like you're not like doing this, okay? Because this is a squat, you're doing the plie, plie. And if you need to drop the heels down. Good, so try to keep your abdominals engaged, shoulders are right above your hips, I'm watching you guys. Good. And slowly. Yeah, this one is tricky because we are doing a lot of things here. We are working on our uh, ankles, we are working on our quadriceps, abdominals, obviously. Try not to arch forward. Good. And one more. Okay, good job. Okay, I think we are done with this one for a little while. We are going to do, uh, let's do the triceps, you know, for a difference. So now we will shift the weight to one side. You can stand on both legs if this is too much for you, okay? We are going to lift the arms straight to the back. So in here, you can lean slightly forward, activate your abdominals, this is a squat, right? Watch your knees, keep them in line with the ankles. And you're lifting the arms behind, okay? With the straight, straight arm, straight arm first, uh-huh. Good. All the way, don't rush, don't rush. See if you can. Shift the weight to one side. You can remove the band from, yeah. If this is too much, but make sure that you are still preserving the posture. You're not opening the hip. Keep them square, the dumbbells are engaged. Good. Three and four. So release, calm down. You show all the rules, how you doing? <laughs> Good. Switch to the other side. Let's try it to the other side. This time we will do a few kickbacks. Good. So now we are bending at the elbows, but the legs. Well, you can micro bend the standing leg a little bit if it helps you to stabilize yourself and to balance. But the back leg is straight. Try to keep the back leg straight. Good. And bending at the elbows. Keep breathing. Nice work, guys. Notice the difference between two sides, which one is more stable. Usually it's one side, that we are more dominant. Wait, okay, so we come back to center. Release. Okay, now we will do this second head of a bicep, okay? Opening the arms, we'll start with the 90 degrees as well. Reduce it, make it smaller, okay? Smaller. Just little pulse, watch your wrist. Keep them in one line with the forearms. Okay, now we will check our balance. Again, we are going to lift one leg up and slowly down. Try not to look down, there is nothing interesting there. So keep your head, neck and spine in one line. <laughs> Good. <laughs> keep breathing. Okay. And one more. Okay, let's go all the way up. Stop at 90. Up. Stop at 90. Three. Good. Try to open your elbows out to the sides. Yes. Four. Three. Don't are you alright? Alright. Good. Okay, slowly come back to center. Release. Okay, we will finish the other side, but first let's finish the triceps, okay? So if you want to come on your tippy toes, we are going to do the clear. Clamp towards each other with the straight arms. Lean in slightly forward, abdominals are engaged. Watch that your knees stay in line with the ankles. And they're tracking the directions of the big toes. So here you're clamping, like you're clamping towards each other, like this. Uh -huh, Joe, not out to the side. Just directly back. Uh -huh, directly back and towards each other. So you kind of try to narrow down. Narrow down. Are you feeling it? Yeah. Try not to arch your back, abdominals engaged. Uh -huh. Good, good, good. Cool. Yeah, this one will fire up your triceps a little more. We are trying to do it from different angles here. <coughs> good. And now let's do a few circles. To one side, three, <coughs> and four. Switch to the other side. Two, three, and four. Good job, guys. Okay, release. Stretch it, shake it out for a moment. We're almost done. Now let's go to the other side. So the other leg, 
Remember, we are going to do the full range. So go <coughs> forward, down, circle out to the side while we are lifting the opposite leg. Good, try to balance. Elongate your back, elongate your neck, look in front of you, keep breathing. Nice one, guys. Three, four. Try to go with a straight leg if you can. To fire up your quads a little more. Nice. Okay, so we release. Come down. Final one. If you want to change the weight, you will finish off. Are you alright? Oh, I'm fine. Fine, okay. Good. With the shoulders.
Keep breathing in with exhale. Kick forward, inhale back. So just whew, good. You're going to stretch it out and bring it forward around. Come into a figure four or like a double pigeon. Thank you. 
but try to press the knee to the back so it's not like here, okay, because you're not going to feel it. Good, so like that. Nice job. So keep your front knee down on the floor. Good, and now sinking a little forwards if you need to. So you can leave the whole leg up. Oh my gosh, this is going to be a challenge because your gluteus minimus have to kick in here and walk. So keeping it parallel to the floor and then press it to the back two times. Press it to the back. Try not to wiggle. Just the leg. Three and four. And then kick forward and then back. Kick forward and back. And one more and we are stretching the hips. So now into uh, uh, figure four. Good. Or square, square pose. I call it square pose because it kind of looks like you're sitting on both seat bones and then the knees are kind of down. So if there is big space here, eventually you can place yoga block on the, on the heel. You get it, right? Mm -hmm. So this is why I wanted you to try this one to see like if, if it opens up a little bit more. Okay? Good. Yeah, but this this is just uh, patience, you know. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit more relaxed, yeah. So I keep breathing, keep breathing, little side to side, release. So we have a few more exercises that I wanted to show you. These are called the hundreds in Pilates, and Joseph Pilates was doing them right at the beginning of the class, usually as a warm up. But this is a pretty challenging core exercise, so I usually bring it towards the end. Okay. Good, so we're going to do it next. Cool. Not my favorite thing. Uh, oh, I don't like it either, you know, but it's a good thing. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good I love the pain. Exercise. So take your ball. Take your ball. They're going to uh, place it right under the neck to, to support. So when you're doing it at home, you can use a small pillow, okay? So that you're lifting your head up a little bit. Uh, let's place one hand on the low belly and the other hand on the rib cage because I really want you to pay attention to how you're breathing here. So, take a deep breath in, send the ear into your lungs, into your abdominals, expand the belly. Good. Feeling the belly with the ear and then with the exhale, you're going to release the belly. Release the ear. Again, one more time. Inhale. Into belly and then with exhale, you're going to place your low abdominals with the belly floor muscles all together. Keep it there. Shift your breath into your rib cage. So your rib cage is going to expand, okay, on all sides. Try not to flare it out. So notice how your abdominals are staying still and stable. You're not breathing through the belly, you're breathing through the rib cage. This is called thoracic breathing in Pilates. This is what we are trying to preserve usually throughout the whole class, especially when we are doing this abdominal exercises, okay? So, take a breath, and then with exhale, we are going to lift right leg up. We'll take a breath and exhale, lift the left leg up. Keep breathing here, through the rib cage, preserving the neutral spine. Good, and we are going to start pulsing with the arms. So you inhale for five pulses through your rib cage, and with the exhale, you release it for five pulses as well. Keep your knees in line with the hips here, okay? And try not to lower your heels because then your abdominals are not going to work as much, okay? So again, inhale and exhale. Good. And with the exhale, we are going to tap with one leg. You don't have to touch the floor, just a little bit. And inhale for five pounds, bring it up. Take a breath and with the exhale, left leg or whichever side you didn't do. You're alternating. And with the inhale, Ryan, don't rush. Good, take a breath. I can see. I rushed for one second. Yes, I know, then I catch you. Good. Slowly come back to the center. Now try with extended legs. If you can go with extended leg, but watch that your spine remains neutral. If you feel tension in your lower back, if you are arching your back or your 
they are not moving together. This is your heels a little. Uh -huh. This will put a little more load here. You feel it, right? On yeah. Center. 
and inhale, roll over, switch the body to the legs, and then exhale, all the way up, good, hold, here for a second, and then exhale, slowly, slowly, landing down, nice work, up and over, and come back to center, good, last time, let's go, on the other side, inhale, switch the bind, and then exhale, Always provide what you receive, you can catch your balance, you can have your hamstrings for more support, right, and then the other hand goes on top, you can use a strap behind your hands, good, slowly coming down, and exhale, up and over, oh my gosh, guys, you are Pretty much done. Let's do some stretches here. Okay. How are you doing, Joe? <laughs> Good. <laughs> Good. Okay. We're going to stretch everything. So I'm bring one leg forward. We usually are alternating, like we are doing different kinds of exercises, so it's not always the same. Um, we're doing different things. Okay. So some days we work more on hips than others. So, little pulse here, make sure the knees in line with the ankle here. Good, and then come into your uh, triangle pose. Thank you, Loretta. You could be teaching this class, I swear. <laughs> <laughs> Good, so keep it in line with the ankle here, little pulse. So, you can tuck your toe here. This will stretch more, Jill, if you want to try it, uh, the quadricep, okay? And you kind of like pulse into it a few times, okay? And then pressing the heel down into the floor, lift the toe up. Narrow down the stance, narrow down the stance. Okay, bring the back leg forward, more forward, uh -huh. and the front leg forward. See, so that you can stretch the um, ankle and the calf muscle. And then you lift the toes of the front leg, with the front leg straight. So lift the toes. Yeah, this will stretch your hamstring, okay? So try to keep it straight, keep breathing. Good job. Okay, slowly bring it down. Bring the foot to the glute, connect your knee. Uh, I usually, I used to do it standing, you know, so if this is too ah! much, careful, careful. Oh, scrapping. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm going to cramp. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. Be careful. Yeah. Uh, I usually do it standing, so if this is too much, I was going to show you the modification, okay? So drop your tailbone down, bring the foot to the glute, connect your knees and your inner thighs together, you know, like this is also a good stretch. If you don't feel comfortable being on your knee, but then you have those paddings, you know, do you want some padding? No, I'm good. You know, foot, yeah, this, this one is a little more intense, I, I agree, you know, like... I don't know that. Yeah, this 
we'll stretch your palms and your ankles. Good, and then. Good, oh, I think I was doing your own leg here. <laughs> like I told the side, but I don't want to do it. Thank you for watching us, guys. Remember to like, share, and subscribe, and join us for more classes. Bye.
Bye.